Hello Pisces, welcome to your tarot reading. My name is Isabel. Today we're going to be discussing what you can expect in love for the month of May 2018. If you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel, then you can do so by clicking the red subscribe button. And if you would like a personal tarot card reading, you can get one at the tarotempress.com. I'm going to start your tarot card reading now, Pisces. I hope you guys are excited. If you hear any noise in the background, it's probably my cat, so don't pay any attention to it. So what can Pisces expect in love? So some of you are in a situation in which your relationship is not functioning optimally. The Magician Tarot card is talking about the fact that when you have your tools, you can use it. When you know better, you can do better. When it is in reverse position, it's telling me that your relationship and your love life is basically in a haywire type of situation. Some of you guys could be dealing with the possibility of an individual that has either put an evil eye or cast black magic on your relationship. I feel like you're dealing with a lot of toxic energy when the Magician Tarot card is in reverse. That's the type of uh, thoughts that uh, are coming into my mind right now. So I feel with the Magician Tarot card, you definitely have to pay, pay attention to any individuals that, um, you know, do not want the best for you, to any of your enemies that may have, you know, tried to harm you, etc. If you would like more information on how to clear out that so sort of energy, then you can definitely contact me. Now, in the Challenges position, I have the Seven of Cups Tarot card. And the Seven of Cups Tarot card is telling me that there's a lack of commitment to this relationship. Someone is definitely feeling a sense of confusion when it comes to the relationship. Someone could have a lot of options and choices. And that's why they are unable to make a choice. The Magician Tarot card is in reverse. They're unable to actually, you know, um, you know, act consciously. They are unable to make up their mind because they don't know what is real versus what is not real. In the goal position, we have the Six of Wands tarot card in reverse position. Some of you guys want to have success and victory in your relationship, but you're struggling to have that because there is something that is obstructing the pathway. Something is standing in the way of your happiness. Yeah, so let's see. We have the Six of Cups in the root of the issue, and it is in reverse position, indicating that some of you are dealing with bad memories or you are still hung up on an individual from the past, so you are unable to leave the past behind. You may have some bad memories or things that are connected to a past individual. In the past, someone left a relationship, they walked away from it, or they went to a different city, different town, they went for a job. Somehow it's connected to maybe the relationship not working as someone left in the past. Now we have what's coming towards you, the Nine of Wands tarot card in reverse position. Someone is basically dropping their barriers and they're letting their guards down. So they are opening up and allowing themselves to be vulnerable. So from that position of going away, walking away from a relationship to not being able to manifest this relationship you want, to having a confusion and to having a, too much on your mind, to bad memories, etc. Someone is definitely letting their guard down and opening up to the possibility of something. Now your attitude, we have the Two of Cups in reverse position indicating that you are still questioning whether the connection with this person was real or not because we have the seven of cups tarot card in the challenges position you are confused and you don't know if it could have resulted in commitment etc 
The next tarot card is the Five of Cups tarot card and it is in the external influences. Some of you are definitely coming out of a situation in which another person was neglecting you or you were neglecting another individual. So someone was feeling very alone. They were feeling, you know, as if the world was against them and they were unable to basically get things going on the right path. King of Swords, Tarot card, in reverse position. Some of you are either dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This type of person, when it is in reverse position, is, you know, someone that's very emotionally detached. They're very aloof. They're emotionally, um, you know, not present. They don't want to deal with their emotions or feelings. So you could be hoping that this person would uh, open up towards you. You could be hoping for this person to become more balanced, more neutralized, more in touch with their feelings and emotions. Queen of Cups tarot card in the outcome position, an indication that you are definitely going to be in a position in which you're going to allow yourself to be vulnerable and you are trying to ascertain answers at this point. You're trying to allow your intuition to step in and tell you what to do. That's what's going to be happening, happening for you guys in May 2018. Now let's clarify what is the Nine of Wands tarot card in reverse position here to tell you. We have the Queen of Pentacles tarot card in reverse position. So even though you're going to be opening up your heart or someone is going to be letting their defenses down, it could be this Queen of, uh, King of Swords type of individual that is, you know, um, dropping their defense mechanisms. I feel like you're going to be responding by holding your emotions back. So it's telling me that you could either be very impatient with this individual and, you know, not so committed to their point of view. Perhaps you had enough of them and perhaps you are exhausted of, you know, their excuses, their lies, their behavioral patterns. Something is telling me that there's more to this than what is showing. Why is this two of cups in reverse position here? Yeah, so, okay. This is interesting. All these tarot cards flew out in res uh, reverse position. It's telling me you didn't have freedom in this relationship. Everything was at a standstill. You were unable to get movement when it comes to this relationship. You were unable to be free, unable to be yourself. The attraction was starting to wither down. You were unable to express yourself or they were not expressing themselves to you. The Hierophant in reverse, a lack of commitment, a lack of someone's uh, loyalty as well. So that's why the Two of, Pentacle, Two of Cups tarot card is in the reverse position. You didn't have pre uh, freedom. Things were moving at snail pace. Someone was not expressing their emotions and this resulted in a lack of communication, lack of commitment and lack of loyalty within the relationships. What is the Queen of Cups tarot card here for? For some reason, I feel like you're dealing with um, a situation that is more than you can understand at this point. It almost feels as if you are bound to this individual and you can't get away from them. It feels like you try to move a few steps ahead but they're behind you and they're not letting you move on. So for some of you guys, it could be a situation that is either karmic in nature or something that you cannot move beyond because the, seven, the Six of Cups is in reverse position telling me that you can't get over this uh, past situation. You see, we have the Lovers Tarot card in reverse position and it's exactly what I was saying earlier. This is here for, for this Tarot card and we have the Two of Cups tarot card in reverse position, this is a karmic situation that you're dealing with this person. You have to learn the lesson before you can move on. You cannot just simply leave this person in the dust and move on with your life. You have to have to learn what your soul lesson is for this chapter before you can move on and before the Six of Cups can turn upright and allow for you to have new memories instead of the old memories that you're having right now. So I hope that you enjoyed your tarot card reading, guys. It seems like some of you guys are in a karmic situation with a soulmate and it has gone awry. If you would like a personal tarot card reading, you can get one from me from on the tarotempress.com. You'll gain more clarity in that manner. And uh, please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.